Man, exploring on foot is just... Sometimes you just need to do it. I mean, I got this big goof for backup, right? So... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, let's get out of here, bud. Yeah, don't explore on foot. That's stupid. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Ragnarok Explorers with me, Unite the Clans. Geeks, how are you doing? Uh, this map is 99.9% .9 done, and we have spent the better part of this year exploring it. I know y'all are ready to see some aberration stuff, and I'm ready to dive into it, but this, this is unfinished business. Uh, we have explored almost this entire map, and there is a new desert region. I'm going to spend an episode or two or three, whatever it takes, to explore this and to actually wrap up our Ragnarok Explorer series for the year. I don't know what will bring us back. I don't know if they will keep adding to this map, if there will be new things uh, we need to explore or areas we need to revisit. But for the time being, I would like to wrap this up so we can dive headfirst into Aberration. So let's do it. Let's hop on this guy, this Thyla, and let's go exploring. So I did explore a lot of this area already. We did it together in a live stream last weekend before Christmas. And I asked people if they wanted to see me come back here and do videos on the areas. And people said yes. So uh, I did want to get back to it. The most, kind of the coolest thing we found the whole time, and we'll see if I can make my way back there, uh, was a cave with a sort of puzzle ruin in it. Now I glitched into a wall and that actually ended our live stream. So I'm going to be careful not to let that happen again. Uh, and I will uh, see if I can show you the spot. I think it's right up here. Is this right? I believe so. All right, so let's hop out of here, guys, and let's take a look with some GPS. 51.777.5. One of my uh, people watching the live stream pointed this spot out to me, and uh, I actually had to get uh, help to get unstuck from the wall. The lighting's going to change here in a second, if memory serves. All right, so we need... Man, we need a shoulder pet. We need a glow, glow pug. All right, I'm going to wait for that to go down. Yeah, yeah, cut through here. Perfect. So uh, I had not yet figured out the, the uh, secret, and I might come back here towards the end of my desert exploration, but this was a, this is a maze. I think in my head it ended up being a parkour maze, but maybe I just hadn't properly figured it out. And don't go in that corner. That corner glitched me into a wall. There's like some secret terrain hidden there. You can kind of see it. Anyway, you do not want to go back there. So I'm going to get out of here safely. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Maybe towards the end of my explorations today, we will return here. I'll see if I can maybe look up the solution on how to get through there and see if I can explore that more fully. But I did just want to show you the location of that maze cave, uh, that puzzle cave to start us off. And do it, 51.677.5. Our explorations continue. There are not a million sources of wood out in the dunes, which is where we've started our exploration here. Uh, and this area is full of trees. They also make great protection against praying mantises. <laughs> Fools can't touch me. Um, yeah, I actually, I'm going to head out in the dunes in this direction, guys. It's hard to uh, sort of decide a, a, the smartest way to explore the deserts for you. So we have these massive mountains up the east coast of the map. And uh, if you go far enough out here, you should see the, the Scottish lighthouse or the Highlands lighthouse. Um, I don't know if you can quite see that far out. But yeah, this is the east coast. And if you can see it, yeah, 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 of course you can see it. Perfect. So that's that way, way, way up there. Uh, we come down and really this part of the map is the one where there is the least amount of detail. A big chunk of the map update that the Ragnarok developers gave us to get this map to 99.9 .9 or whatever it's supposed to be. A big chunk of this is... Uh, fairly simple it's dunes now a lot of people are going to complain about that they're going to say like oh what a cop out you just made a really big area and i mean you guys are seeing it holy crap <laughs> we got some mods on this server uh is that a flying that's not a fly we don't have flying stuff here i think it's just waiting to render in is it what the lord what heck is going on oh oh guys i know what i'm looking at here there used to be a, a desert, this was our desert outpost. So this was the first and only area of the Ragnarok Desert that was landscaped, and it was when the Iron Mine crew first built their outpost out here uh, that, that that sort of happened, and we got a big batch of trees and everything. This was one of the only spots that looked semi-finished out here in the desert, and it seems like the way they finished the map sort of leaves your old creations hanging. So this was beyond the work-in-progress border. I guess we knew this would happen to it, but I don't know if anybody's been out here to see it since then. 
But yeah, this was the, out, the old desert outpost. It's, uh, it's way up there in the sky now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head out this way. Uh, more trees in this direction. And, um, there's a crazy amount of islands. So let's, uh, take a look at the map even as we ride. So if you look off the bottom corner of the map, uh, the bottom right, uh, it doesn't really show it. Uh, actually, none of this area looks finished on the map, but there are a crazy amount of uh, islands. And, and not really islands, but just little rocks sticking up out of the water. And around them all are uh, little, like, sawed-off forests, birch forests. So out there, if you go out on those rocks, surprisingly, you have a source of wood out there. So you could build. Uh, there's a supply of rock. I think fiber you might struggle. I can't remember. But anyway, that string of islands is massive. It goes way, way, way out into the corner of the map. Way further than you'd think it would. Um, but I think we'll just head around in, circle, in a circle in this coast. And we'll see what we can find. This, uh, this part of the map is the simplest. And we get into some very cool ruins and uh, very different looking biomes as we finish exploring the Ragnarok Deserts. I gotta tell you guys, I am appreciating living vicariously through my character here. Where I am now... Minus 21 Celsius. What do we got? What do we got today out here on the old Ragnarok? 20. Yeah, I'm minus 20 uh, in Canada right now. Today is the coldest. It's the coldest it's been in three winters. I got frozen pipes in my dang house. So getting out here to the desert, it just seemed like the right day to do this. Don't you think? I can use the relief. I actually feel warmer sitting here. So we have come a long way. Uh, this is a huge map. Like, to come down that coast is a long, long trip. Uh, every chunk of this map is big. There's no part of it that is that is small. Um, I just want to show you our coords. And if you look off to the left, you see, like, the islands, these little rocky islands continue way, way deep, deep way out there, way out to sea. Uh, but we're getting into some new terrain up here, and I think this takes us into the river valley. Uh, this area is, uh, well, I'll show you when we get there. Alright, so the biome is already changing a little bit. We have some new sort of rocky formations we didn't have earlier. And uh, we're coming uh, down the coast of the map. We're circling around and to that river valley. Uh, the river valley that's up ahead is one that uh, is reminiscent of like the Nile. A lot of people mentioned that when we were down there for the live stream. Uh, and I, I think, uh, I think it, like, like I said, they... So people will be critical of this, the fact that there's a lot of sand dunes. But for me, if you're going to create an area that looks like this, it needs to be vast. Um, it cannot be small. Basically, what we're going to do, we got to get to the top of this hill and feel like we're in the middle of a desert. Otherwise, don't bother creating a biome that looks like this, that looks like sand dunes. It has to be huge to be effective. That's part of what made the outside of Scorched Earth look so cool. So up here, boom, it feels like sand dunes in all directions. It feels like you're out in the middle of a desert. So I like it. It had to be huge. Like I said, people are going to complain, but people are going to complain about this map, whether whether the guys nail it perfectly or not. Uh, this time around, I think they did a pretty good job. Let's walk our way over to that river. It's further away than I thought it would be. Yeah, this map is way bigger than you think. <laughs> Every little chunk of the map that looks like it would be a short journey is a long journey. The river will eventually appear. I know it. Hallelujah. The river will eventually appear. I know it. Hallelujah. We found it. So look at how the map changes so quickly up here, guys. Actually, the whole lighting changed. Uh, we got Jerboas. We got all kinds of peaceful creatures instead of the scorpions and mantises. Well, not all kinds of peaceful creatures. There's a lot of bugs and stuff here, too. Moths. Hello. Adorbs. Look at how all these cuties. Am I, uh... Am I good? Hungry? Thirsty? Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. Um, okay, and we're headed towards ruins. The ruins are pretty fantastic. So, uh, what they did, they actually changed this side of the river. If I'm not mistaken, originally this had a giant uh, piece of land that spiked up way, way high in the sky. It was really steep, looked like a shark tooth. That's been smoothed out and replaced by this sort of shoreline that uh, leads you into the dunes and honestly I like it what they've done here building it up really high out here by the edge means that uh, means that when you're out here in the dunes and you're looking around you don't see water at all it really gives an effective feel of the desert I don't know if people care about this stuff but this is kind of how I'm I've been in, spending a lot of time in this map and I've been giving it lots of love lots of praise few critiques here and there 
Um, and with this update, I feel inclined to do the same. I think they did a good job. Oh, watch out, freaks. Good lord. Uh, but the river's pretty. It's very different than the last river. It kind of looks black. Like it has a, a dark sort of slate gray bluish feel to it. Uh, that the other river felt a little bit more tropical, a little bit more of a light gray, uh, sorry, light blue color. This is like a deep blue. Maybe that uh, is, is uh, giving way to the feel for the Nile. Um, and also the ground is a different color out here than it is by the other river. Uh, it's darker and the rocks are quite dark. All right, lots of metal rocks right here. If you guys see that on my uh, uh, on my uh, GPS. And we're headed into the ruins country. The ruins are really one of the big highlights uh, of this place. Uh, the ruins are a, uh, well, they, they have highs and lows. There's bits and pieces of them that don't look so great, but just in general, the concept, uh, the shapes they put together for the ruins, they are lovely. Ooh. And here we go, guys. Dropping a little below that 60 FPS. Apologies. Some people are very sensitive to that. I've had videos lately, one video in particular, where the, the frame rate was a mess, and I barely notice. I just don't see it the same way other people see it. So now I've got the counter up on the screen. Helps me keep an eye on it, at least. Uh, I just don't have the same eye for that thing. Uh, okay, so there's a little way down by the water right here. This is kind of a cool spot. This makes, uh, if we're thinking about base locations, you want water access, but you want to be protected up on the dunes. Okay, and ruins are coming into view. So I don't know, do these areas, let's see, have names? Or is it all going to be, okay, Thunder Peak. So Thunder Peak was the massive shark tooth thing. I think they got to update the names. It's no longer a peak, as far as I can tell. Uh, but they have taken a lot of the ruins pieces that we've seen used elsewhere in the map and they put them to use in sort of a different way. They're creating ruins that look, I don't know, uh, it would be, I, I'm not enough of a historian to place it, Middle Eastern, but I don't know whether to say it's like Ottoman or Egyptian or, or in particular or what these what these ruins are, are representative of. But they've done a cool thing, like like the building into the ground like this it's it's i mean pre-made base locations basically uh, so we've wandered around here before we did it in the live stream i would be curious to see what you guys would want to do with this place like uh it's uh I, I i mean it's built on a very strange slope but ideally i mean you could build into this build a base in this place it would be interesting to see Okay, and here is a area just up the way that is an obsidian mine. So a huge amount of obsidian stored here. We're at 72.5, 70.1. And right around the corner from kind of a cool base location, a little hidden bunker back in there that you could fortify. If you're willing to live on a slope, that is, I suppose, on a slant. And the ruins are expansive, man. They go everywhere. They're, uh... It's it's a big area. Actually, like, taking the time to explore all of this... Yeah, get me over there. Uh, would be pretty wild. I, I, we'll see. I mean, I, I can edit this video down. Make it simple for you guys. Spend a little time... Oh, okay. Exploring the map. Let's go. And now we're up top. Yeah, guys. Check out the true expanse of this. This is huge. I don't even know how to show it all to you. Let's head over to that tower. Let's see what it's all about. All right, got the same thing over here, more or less. It looks like I can get inside at both. Uh, if I aim my climb right, let's see if I can do this. Yep, perfect. So yeah, these are roughly the same, these two towers. Ooh, and check this out. This is like the grand entrance to the whole dang area. Uh, and I know people have already got stuff set up here, guys. I'm, I'm late to the party, but th this is the grand entrance check this thing out this is fantastic so i mean you, ideally you'd want to build docks off here my, now my only complaint is about those stairs i think they look awful i think you guys got to replace them with ramps or just use s plus stairs or something because those are like a, a 3d art painting from 1997 am i trying to see a rocket ship in that or are those supposed to be stairs anyway uh, in general i love the area it's just the stairs i'm complaining about uh in general even the textures up there they could be better but they 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 make these look like epic ruins and building up to this ah i mean this is a big responsibility building into this place and making the most of it i assume you can build into it i know that's a setting you can turn on on your particular server but this makes an amazing base entrance guys 
All right, guys, I don't want to neglect to show you this, the fact that there are gigantic bridges that span this uh, river. Uh, an island area out there would make for a fantastic base. And I think that area down there is the one we were just at, the massive uh, platform. Yeah, the entrances. I wonder, I suppose I can just climb up this wall, can I? Yes, I can. Skills. Uh, and we can go check out what's over on this side. Maybe we'll head out in the direction of that, uh, yeah, let's do it, uh, of the bridge. And we'll kind of try and cut across there. And another one of these towers looks very cool. I like the, what they've done. They're taking resources we've seen in the game before uh, and making the most of them. Making new feeling things, like this bridge over here feels new. Um, they have built a bunch of bridges, these guys, uh, for their maps, uh, for this map. There's a bunch of cool bridges, and this is just the newest. Yep. Okay. The momentum almost kills you going across here. But look at that. That texture is fantastic. I love the way those bricks look. Beautiful. Uh, okay, and I'll show you where this, this bridge is and where these entrances begin. 6966. How cool is that? So this thing is the Nile River of our uh, Ragnarok expansion. The biggest and the best ruins you are going to find are along it. But some of the best geography, not along it. We gotta get into the mountains, the foothills of the mountains. There's sort of these rocky stepped desert areas up here uh, with waterfalls and all kinds of cool rivers coming out of them. And uh, this area we are headed to looks nothing like the area we are in now. We're gonna take a break and come right back from there. What did I tell ya? Is that not different? We went from the Nile River to the Grand Canyon. Uh, and we are right on the, the edge of these insanely tall mountains. There is nothing like this mountains-wise in, in Ark. In terms of a range of mountains, like the mountains that you get here on Ragnarok are so tall. It's silly. And, and, and so expansive. Goes all the way out to sea. Oops. And then, uh, and then even the mountains continue... Like the snowy areas up there are all mountainous. Alright, well, guys, I, today was a bit of a tease. The episode started in a cave, a sort of puzzle cave. That place is super expansive. I just did a little research on it. So today's episode's a tease. It'll be another episode before we can get out there and explore uh, all that there is to that cave. I have to do some prep. I actually have to gear up to get in there and prepare to take it on. Um, but... Uh, uh, we will do that, I think. So we will have at least another episode. But that means I can get all of the uh, exploration done in today's episode. I think I can show you all the highlights. We've been through all the ruins. And now, I just want to show you we are in a totally new part of the map. Um, we're coming across, and this area is all new. So even though the area to our south is not brand new, uh, it's uh, it's been there for a while since the last desert update or one of the more recent desert updates, this area is all new. So there was this pocket north of the finished area uh, that was unfinished. And it was green, and it still had all the same steps, the same, like, uh, vertical ledges that the other areas had. You can see it out there, how it steps down. Um, but it was green and grassy instead of uh, sandy and desert-like. And I was really intrigued to see what they would do with this area. And they've made it a really interesting merge with the murder snow. So you come down into this sort of fir forest area and there's little hints of sand like you can see the dirt up ahead there is sand and the bottom of this river is sandy and little hints as you come down here that it's transitioning into desert uh, and the rocks go from grayish like they are up here to sort of a reddish color down here and this is the beginning and then in, in one or two more levels they've transitioned into like a bright orangey, uh, you know, uh, Grand Canyon style, Arizona style rock color that really matches the sand. So if you come down here, these sort of reddish gray cliffs are quickly giving way to the orangey cliffs of the desert area. Um, so I think what we're going to do, guys, because that area up there, the snow, even though there's some new areas, we've seen it before. Redwoods, we've seen it before. Same with this, fir forest. Actually, same with this. This looks like the canyons of old. The only area I really want us to focus on is this new area down here that looks like scorched earth. Um, even though we've had desert before from the, uh, the, the Ragnarok guys, we have not had anything that looks quite like this. How cool. Are you in love? So I hope you don't mind waiting to explore that puzzle cave for another video. And it might be a little while. I might po postpone it so I can get into some aberration stuff. But eventually we will gear up and we will take on that, uh, that, 
that puzzle cave. I really did some uh, a little research into it, and it's huge. So there's a lot to explore there. I think it would deserve an episode all of its own. Uh, so I wouldn't want to tease you by just peeking at it in today's episode, which is what I did. But, uh, I mean, check this region out, guys. It's huge. Uh, I really like the, the color combination, the orange and the green of the, the rocky cliffs, the sort of sandy cliffs, I suppose I should say, and the trees they've chosen to put along here. I think that's a spot for another uh, platform out there. And this is cool. There's actually bones and trees that go over top of this river. Look at this down here, this rib cage over top of the river. This is so cool. You ain't never seen anything like this anywhere else on the map. How awesome, right? I love it. Okay, where are we? Just so I'm on the GPS, people don't get mad. 57, 57. That is so cool. And look at this, guys. Man, exploring on foot is just... Sometimes you just need to do it. I mean, I got this big goof for backup, right? So... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, let's get out of here, bud. Yeah, don't explore on foot. That's stupid. See you later. Oh, uh, what am I, a total doofus? Yeah, all right, and then this gives way to sort of the world scar, which is another, uh, this is an area, once again, that we've seen before, and it's just been expanded out. It's been expanded out quite thoroughly. There's new waterfall areas, there's new caves. Uh, I think there's a whole new crystal cave area. We didn't get to that. I guess I could show you that as well. Yes, I definitely should. See, there's too much, guys. Too much to show, too much to uh, to show off. I believe the crystal cave is under me down here. So let's take a look uh, at this. We're at 59.59 now. And I think this is where you get in. So let's go in here. New massive crystal cave. And it's an expanse. Uh, the water's a little... It's deeper than, like, the water... Most of the crystal is not at water level, which I know is what real art geeks like, because then you can take your your dodicarus or your ankylo uh, to go mine the metal or the crystal uh, and do it while you're floating which helps you move quickly but uh, but this area there is uh, it's a little hard to climb if you're on a thyla but there is crystal above you at, at all points here it is uh, really super expansive uh, how do I get I'm at the end I think I'm trapped down here <laughs> it's really hard to get from the lower level to the upper level I have not found an easy way to do it, even with a thyla. Ugh. Yeah, I can't. Alright, from here, I'm pretty sure I can work my way up. Is that right? Let's find out. Yes, I did it. Okay, perfect. So yeah, once you're up here, you shouldn't have too much trouble getting around and getting access to all this stuff. So, okay, yes. So it's everywhere. Super expansive, and you're in the middle of this cave. I think I showed you where one of the entrances is. I think this is the same area as an entrance we'll find out uh yeah we're basically in the exact same area but there are a few different ways into this crystal cave yeah this is one of them okay cool right this is one of them behind the waterfall is one of them and i showed you another so let's work our way in through here okay so that's it massive crystal cave this area is too big to explore in one video guys i tell you I wasn't sure I would be able to show you the, the scale of the uh, most recent update, how big an area it covers, but I think by climbing up this mountain I'm going to get a pretty good, well, if I can climb up this mountain, I'm going to be getting a pretty good view of it. Um, I just want to give you a little perspective because the area is so, it's kind of a unique shape compared to what we've gotten in the past. It's sort of a, uh, so it, it includes this whole thing that was not finished until the recent update. Basically, everything straight ahead of me here to the right, up basically up until the snow, and then across like that, all the way behind the mountaintops out there. And then uh, to the south of me down here, this area was finished. So that little valley and this mountain was finished, as was this side of the, well, a big chunk of this side of the river. So basically, uh, the unfinished area was on my left, cutting across until this, the, the river, basically, and then from the river all the way down to the coast. But on this side of the river, um, uh, my side of the river to our right, that was already finished. Most of this, uh, that sort of World Scar Canyon thing was finished. But this is all brand new, guys. And uh, way out there is that uh, cave. I think if I prepare, then we will have at least another episode, an episode 35, to come take care of business, maybe go check out what's inside that cave, see if we can't get to the end of it. But guys, I feel like we've been all around what is 
brand new for this desert update. Uh, it's very, very cool. I, I really enjoyed it. And to be honest, I have very much enjoyed this series. We have done a ton of exploration, uh, and I have been in a mode of finishing things up. We finished up a run of Building Evolved. Ragnarok Explorers has been going on quite a long time and I get lots and lots of comments people going hey we need some aberration we need you to be playing it and uh, they want an aberration explorers they want to get going on that and I have struggled with the game with the DLC a little bit guys so I got to put some time in there and I think I got to give this whole series a break I don't know if there will be a hell of a lot more to explore I know I want to come back wow this area is so good uh, I know I want to come back and do uh, that cave down there at some point. Maybe we'll, we'll give it a week or so and I'll bring you another episode of the Ragnarok Explorers. But after that, I'm not sure what else there is to do. If I have big chunks of this map I have missed, be sure to let me know in the comments. But I have spent the better part of 2017 riding around here, admiring and adoring this map. It's been really the highlight of the year and the highlight of ARC this year. But this is truly beautiful. Best map in the game. And if I don't spend a lot of time exploring it over the next few months, if I'm into that DLC map instead and not here on Ragnarok, no, I still love this place. Love the Ragnarok devs. My name is on the wall in the ruins here, guys. I'm a part of this map. And we have spent so much time exploring it together that you are a part of it as well all right guys i will be back in your life with an episode to explore the puzzle cave but for us for today for the ragnarok explorers at least for a little while i think we are done just wandering around this map and we're gonna go do that on a new map uh one that we have not seen each and every corner of like we have here i love this place but it's time to give it a bit of a break all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you for the love and support on this series throughout 2017 and i will be back in your life with another episode next week Woohoo!